20 harvests uh, of uh, testamata, 20 harvests of colore, 20 harvests of bibigrets. With the 19, we really get this wine that is a milestone. It's what we have been looking for 20 years. Perfection of the climate, the smoothness overall. It's kind of the, the vintage went through without realizing it went through. No? The right word for describe the vintage 19 is elegancy. You know? For celebrating the 20th anniversary, we decided to make a special bottle. With 2020, it's going to go back to the label of Testamata and Colore. So it's a one-off. Testamata 2019, you really feel the depth uh, and you feel these incredible layers and it's uh, very subtle. You have this uh, beautiful bouquet, very, very, very thin, but mature. With Colore, you get this uh, roundness oh, in the wine. But then you have this freshness, but then you have this acidity you know, that is really cutting through and it really gives this layer and it's very, very distinctive. You know? 2019 is the first vintage we produce in Aurora. It was very, very improvised because we decided to just boom, move all the barrels in and go for it. Alla testa matta proprio, alla bibi First you do and then and then you think, you know, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Aurora Winery, it's a bit of a, a, a one, of, one, of, one of the kind. It's really cool because it's not a winery, you know, it's, it used to be a hotel. You have the, the barrels here, you have the barrels. Uh, in the breakfast room, you have all the big botti. Then you had the disco where we have all the fermenters, you know, I mean, and not only a hotel because now we transform it into our house. So my bedroom is up here and my kitchen is here. These wines are an expression of my life. In my life, there is no separation between, uh, you know, uh, the wine and the family and, the, and the, it's my life. I started off uh, in 2000, the first uh, period of my my work, my, my winemaking, looking for intensity, looking for performance, looking for the sun going through the soil and then coming through the grapes and into the glass. Then suddenly I uh, realized that this was not the right track in 2009. With the 2009 vintage, I realized that uh, people just were not looking for all this power, all this energy, they were actually wanting just to drink a glass of wine. The hell, don't break my balls. <laughs> the second part of my work is uh, all directed instead uh, to search for the opposite. Elegancy, uh, finesse, uh, the ultimate wine in this sense is 2019.